Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick video here because this is uh, something I spotted that's kind of new. I've been kind of looking for one of these over time. I've already got the uh, dual band version, Bofang UV5RE, which uh, covers, you know, the 2 meter and the 70 centimeter band. So I bought this one, and this is the Bofang it's the UV-5RX3, and as you can see, it says tri-band. It still has the basic dual display, dual standby. It does pretty much everything that this one does, except this one covers 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and the 1.25 meter band, which is the 220 band. And let's see various operating environments you got to remember to use this in the United States you have to have a proper licensing I am licensed amateur radio operator so I can use it and as you can say right there VHF 136 to 174 megahertz and then at 200 to 259.975 megahertz and then 400 to 520 megahertz. So it, it covers everything that this one does except 220. So let's look in the box. I've, I've already kind of opened this up and glanced inside just to make sure once I got it that you know everything was in it, but I put everything right back the way it was supposed to be. And this is the owner's manual. And it, it pretty much explains everything in English. I understand, you know, this is a foreign maker, so there's some kind of words get kind of jumbled around in it, and then you go, oh, okay, I understand it now. But, uh, even got a VIP card from Radiodity, which is the person that I bought this from on eBay. Which is kind of cool. And I even got kind of a surprise. Because when I purchased this thing, it said that uh, item location is in the United States. But when I got the tracking number, it was a Chinese tracking number. I was, I was a little, you know, kind of flabbergasted. Because I know when, it, when stuff comes from China, it, it just takes almost forever for it to get here. But it actually took about... I would say two and a half weeks so it was about a week and a half longer than what it would really take here in the United States unless it was sent priority mail but first class usually takes about a week here's the uh, radio and you'll probably notice it if, if you're familiar with these that the only thing I've noticed different about this is the fact that it's minus the band button that's right here like this one see the band buttons right here and this one does not have it but you can still enter the frequency manually on these frequency mode. and you can see I already double checked it to make sure because it's already got 200 megahertz in I've already checked all the frequencies on it and everything to make sure they are there and they are it does cover exactly what it says on the box and go ahead and you can already see that it's got the uh, is that UHF sorry lighting's kind of poor in here and there's no way I can really fix it unless I want to Bring in a big flashlight. Uh, go to one, one forty-seven. Four, zero, zero, zero. And then we can go up and down from there. So it's definitely working on two meters, and it's got the four forty band in it, and two twenty. We'll turn that back off. Just kind of set it over here to the side. Get this out. And I was extremely surprised when I opened the box that this was sitting right on top. And I'll explain 
exactly what this one is here in a second. We got our dual band antenna. I believe this is the dual band one. And then we got the 220 antenna. So it comes with two antennas normally with the radio. And then this was a third antenna. And what this is is actually a tri band antenna. And if you look on the bottom of it, it's got a red circle and it actually shows the uh, 2 meter band, 220 band, and the 440 band. And it comes with a little washer to put in between the antenna and your radio. So I was actually surprised about that because I wasn't expecting to get this. And when I ordered it, I actually bought this one, which is the Radioddity RD301 tri-band antenna. And it's the same thing. <laughs> the only difference is, is, as you can see, I got the bases of them lined up perfectly at the bottom. And the one that came in the box is a slight bit longer, but it's the same model. This one's actually a Radioddity RD301. Interesting. So they actually ship a tri-band antenna with it, and I didn't see anywhere in the listing that it included that. And it comes with the wall wart, like it says in the listing. Everything else in the listing came with it, and it comes with the earbud and the uh, microphone all in one. Comes with the belt clip. Just gotta pop screws off and screw that on. There is the charging base. And then the wrist strap. You just loop through the radio and then loop it back through itself and all done. So it's pretty neat. I'm not really going to be doing a uh, actual operational test on it. Just because I'll probably do that a little bit later in another video or something like that. I just wanted to show what was actually in the box. And that I actually got surprised with an RD301 tri-band antenna for the radio. So I can actually put these away in the box and store it. And if something does happen to the antenna gets broke or something like that, at least I got a spare. So that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and one last thing too. Uh, because it didn't come with a speaker microphone that you can act, you know, hold in your hand. I actually went to eBay because I heard that the uh, Bofang microphones kind of sucked. And I was doing a little bit of research and uh, found uh, a microphone. And it's a uh, Kenwood KMC. 45 and it's pretty much almost identical as uh, the Bofang microphones button right there for PTT then you got a another jack right here that you can use for an earbud and the plug itself is identical to the Bofang microphones and these actually sound 100% better to the person on the other end of the radio listening to you and all you have to do is just open the port right there plug it in and make sure it's all the way in and you hear that snap where it won't work at all so that's pretty much it. Just remember, KMC45 by Kenwood microphones will work in the Bofang radios. Frequency mode. They sound really good. The speaker in the handheld actually sounds pretty close to the Bofang when it's the actual microphone element in them that uh, sounds kind of crappy. It was really low audio. And I do know that there's some videos out there that kind of shows you how to modify your Bofang microphone 
make it sound a little bit better by either replacing the element or isolating it from the rest of the casing where you can put insulation in it and wrap some tape around it or whatever and direct the uh, audio into the microphone but even after I did that to mine it still didn't really make much of a difference when I did the insulation trick it did get a little bit louder but not much I, I still just recommend getting the Kenwood KMC 45s much better all right see you next time I will put the uh, link to the eBay listing where I got this I don't know how long that listing will actually last but if you uh, click on the link and you see it you click on the store or the person's actual username and you'll get to his uh, basic profile where you can go from there and I might just post a link to his profile uh, right under this one for the eBay listing and I'll also include a link to at least one or two of these Kenwood KMC 45s just so this way you don't have to go hunting around or whatever and try and change words to find something similar but those are the ones and I, I do want to thank Radiodity for this you know when I when I heard that this thing was coming from China I was just kind of bummed out about it because I had to wait another week and a half for this thing and thinking I was going to be waiting a month but it actually came in two and a half weeks I had mentioned something to him in a message and he or they or whoever it is that did it sent me a five buck refund on the uh, radio and I just kind of wanted to throw that out there that there is a possibility that you might get one from China they do have different vendors so chance you might get one from the u.s and you might get it faster nevertheless i want to thank them for throwing in the uh tri-band antenna in the box that was absolutely fantastic i appreciate that and like i said the radio uh function wise i tested it out before this and it did function great so i'm good with that and i'll, I'll do a video later on functionality so this way you can see that also all right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Have a good day.